So how can we detect faces in a given image using computer vision as well as detect faces on the live webcam, something that has applications in the mobile face detection, etc. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to detect faces in a given image using pre-trained classifier provided by OpenCV. And I'm going to show you the implementation using Python code only. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also, we now have the AI University Android app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebook by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. All the courses are offered free on this website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. You can get this pre-trained classifier from the OpenCV's GitHub page. I have provided the link for the same in the description section on this video. You can also access the HAR classifiers file directly from AI University's website link. This classifier and similar other classifiers are stored in XML file format as you can see here on GitHub page. We will be using Har Cascade I and Har Cascade Front Face Default Classifiers. So let me show you how can you detect faces and eyes using OpenCV module. So let me quickly go to the Jupyter Notebook. So first we are importing our familiar CV2 and NumPy modules. In the next line we are using Cascade Classifier function and providing the location of Har Cascade Front Face Default.xml file where we have stored it. This way we are creating an object of the classifier with the name classify face. In the next line we are reading our image using imread function giving path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as image data original. Then in the next line we are converting this image into grayscale image because most of the OpenCV functions require an image to be grayscale before applying any operations. In the next line, we are trying to get the region of interest that is location of the face or eyes so that we can draw a rectangle around it later on. To get the region of interest, we are using classify faces method called as detect multiscale. It takes several input parameters. Number one is input grayscale image. Number two is scale factor which depicts parameter specifying how much the image size is reduced at each image scale. What this means is uh, by what factor are we increasing or decreasing the image by. Number three is min neighbors uh, that depicts how many neighbors each candidate rectangle should have to retain it. What this means is that if we have multiple faces in the same region then it may draw multiple rectangles there. So we through this parameter are telling that it should consider it as one face. For example, if you set this as a minimum of two face in the same region, then it will consider it as one face. Lower value will detect multiple faces over single image. Higher value will ensure a less false positives and you may miss some faces. The variable face ROI stores the value of this complete operation in an array. That is, it stores the information of all the faces it would detect in the image in an array form. So if you print this variable, you will get an array as an output. In the next line, we are using if condition to check if there are any faces present in the image. If the face ROI is empty, then it will print an informational message that faces are not detected in the image. Please provide another image. In the next line, we are just using for loop to iterate through each x, y, w, h value present in the face ROI variable in order to draw the rectangle around that face using rectangle function. x, y, w, h represents the coordinates of the face. Rectangle function is taking four parameters here. Number one is input image. Number two is starting point of a rectangle which is x, y. Number three is the ending point of the rectangle to be drawn which are x plus width and 
y plus height number four parameter is the color that is the bgr band showing the color of the rectangle and number five is the thickness of the rectangle line and finally we are showing the image after rectangle is drawn around the face using im show function so now let me run this cell so when i ran this cell you can see that the pink rectangle has been drawn around the face now let's move on to the next cell where we are combining both face and eye detection code is same till here weight key zero now here we are supplying another input image or a different input image to see if classifier detects face given in the in this particular image as well the only difference uh, here in this particular cell from the above one is that we are now loading the har cascade i classifier as well here just like we have we are loading har cascade front face and we are storing the uh, result of i classifier in the variable known as classify i now as we already know that we are detecting faces and creating rectangle around them and then showcasing it using this code in the next set of lines we are cropping both color and grayscale image and storing the value in the variables known as color crop and gray crop respectively then in the next line we are supplying the cropped grayscale image to the detect multi scale method of classify i and just like we applied for loop in case of face detection to draw a rectangle around it we are doing the same thing here so using the for loop shown in the next set of lines we are trying to detect the eyes and then drawing the rectangles around it so overall if you see uh, here we are using two for loops in this cell first for loop detects the face and if the face is detected then it will try to detect eyes since every human has two eyes so we will iterate through second for loop to detect both eyes now let me run this cell so when i ran this cell you could see that it has detected the face first now let's close it or maybe you can press enter so now it is detecting the eye first eye then it has detected the second eye so you can see that it is very well detected both face and the eyes together now let's move on to the next cell where we will see how live video stream will capture the face and it will detect both face and eyes and then will create the rectangle around them so let's see the code first so first we have loaded both face and eye classifiers here then we have created a function with the name detect face and eyes this function takes two parameters first one is image and the second one is the size inside this function we are detecting both faces and eyes code of which i have already explained a short while ago in the above two cells only difference here is that instead of only drawing a rectangle around face we are cropping out the face from the image once we crop the face we are detecting the eyes on the face using second for loop then we are using flip function of open cv that allows flipping an image or video frame horizontally vertically or both we are capturing the video using video capture function and then passing this detect face and eyes function in the i am show function to show the output you need to press a letter q key to close the window the code which is mentioned here as cv2 dot wait key and in bracket ones one and uh, zero cross ff equals to ordq represents this action so let me now run this cell so when i run this cell camera captured my face cropped it and drew rectangles around my face so folks this is it for this video hope you have learned something new today in the next upcoming video i will cover another important topic of the computer vision using open cv series so here is today's question why are we converting the image into grayscale from before applying har cascade classifier please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you